into a position where he could do massive damage. Yeah, like they're gonna be trying to get in behind the enemy squad. Oh, gets tagged Gee. up quite a bit. Teleporter straight in over onto the point. There they go. Just the one tick is all that they need. The Real way. Charge. RCK makes his way over. They're still taking this one up. Somebody's gonna drop down. They finally managed to do so. But OG, he is so very low. They move off the point for just the second. And San Francisco Shock will take it. An incredible Symmetra strategy. They teased the Orisa cop. They knew that we're gonna be running the Orisa defense just like they did before. Get his team through on Skype. He's wrapped around trying to go for a flank. Amplification Matrix is throw down a symmetrical wall in front of this one. Would be absolutely devastating, but they hold on to it for now. DM doesn't have it yet. Here it is, though. Throwing up, and they've already lost two. The flank from Ichi Wo. That might have what saves Philly here. It gets in. DM eventually removes him, though. Staying charged up now. There are plenty of barriers for him to keep that beam on. Carpe tries to step up. He gets hosed down by DM. Oh, my. Oh, this is all sorts of wrong. DM finally pulled in the hold, gets him now, Gravitic Flux to knock him into the air, but he's thinking Neptuno, he's so low, Poco saves the day, doubles down now. Oh, four and one, we had it up there, I, did, I wasn't picking up on it, but it's been a struggle for Dallas on this map, but they do lead the series, one to zero already, over the streaking Valiant, Dallas trying to get some more wins on the board. Oh buddy. Sim flank. Oh buddy. And now Sim goes back home. You've done your job. You've done your job. Well done. They have no idea. You kind of almost have like two Zarya's out on the field, except like Sherpa can get charged up much faster. <laughs> so, you see, that's going to be the Sim ultimate. So that's the photon barrier as they push onto the point. I mean, look how powerful it is. The Soul Dynasty, if they want to interact with the Gladiators at all, they have to step forward. They might just be forced to wait this out or wait for Fisher. And that seems to have been the plan. Fisher comes in, gets his eye bubble pretty much instantly, but there's a transcendence in over the fight. J-Hawk responds, gets one of his own. Fisher's down, tank battle won by the Gladiators. Now the charge on out, and well, look at J-Hawk being forced away from his team. They can't benefit from the healing. Flatter falls flat as the charge connects, and J-Hawk's all alone. The Gladiators, the Symmetra play, the dream is real. Secure those kills, unfortunately. We talked a lot about the boss side of things, but Justice are still running this Symmetra. High damage output and longevity on the point. If you can get in there and get those turrets up, Teleporter can get them in there, but there's so much damage output, you don't really want to port into this one. You want to take it slow, push in very carefully. Well, Teleporter just going to be deleted there off the bat. Blizzard going to be used by Stellar, but watching the Justice successfully go ahead and pull back, eluding that ultimate. Now looking to set up the wall, goes ahead, slaps that one down as they start advancing. Barrier going to be broken, main wall comes in, the Persia's going to be the first one to fall. Quickly they're able to trade back, remove Giannis from the game, and now Color Hex and Fusion both going to be taken down. Corey is just ripping people to shreds. Waiting for the engage from the charge, and then they just CP right up to the point, no problems there. Chinbu kicks it off with a kill on Rio, so they're already down a tank on the side of the charge. But Eileen can turn it around, this is what the Fist is capable of, he can get the kills just like that. YXL though, still showing some fight, that might be the difference maker, and they will find the first point here, the Hunters. One point on the board, they've got everything they could possibly want to work with, and here it is, the Sim Nightmare. Get so charged up on a shield, they got an early kill, and then just, you're kind of just one time. TP to the point, turn around, set up. Completely busted on live, by the way, with the beam changes. Oh, look at this, they use the main Ooh. wall and teleport to the high. Or oh my gosh! Head. That's filthy. Space getting rid of Color Hicks early just makes things even worse for the Uprising. KSF's got to be hitting really hard after spending some time on that shield fusion. <laughs> Melted! Still alive, but only for just a moment. I was gonna say, you start getting the sim, the primary fire on some of these barriers, Ooh. and you can just start chunking players down. I mean, that oh god, somebody stuff. stop this guy! I think you're in a good spot. Ooh. Be a Symmetra shield comes in from Baby Bank, splits it right down the center what? of the point. This lets you advance without taking any post damage. This is ideal. Amplification Matrix had to be used there. It's gonna get taken down now. Gator gets rid of Sinatra. Look at this, the shot trying to get aggressive. Perhaps they think this is the answer. But Baby Bay is charged up, sitting in the background, and no one's paying him much attention. He gets rid of the supercharger, and he's gonna teleport in. Oh, this guy is absolutely mad. He chases down Violet, and the damage from behind. So much damage. The beams, baby! Violet gets taken down by Erster, coming in with a meteor strike. But the Symmetra, the big difference maker here. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs>
But here we are, it's 2019 and she is dominating. They're working on compositions and strategies that might be viable in the next patch, which I think is the reason you're going to see some Symmetra from this Atlanta Rain team. Again, they're in the playoffs. They're just trying to lock up their top six. So after you take a round on control, maybe you just mess around and try to work on what you're working on. You still kind of want to win this one. Yeah, you do. You got the sim well down. Two kills coming through. Make that three. Atlanta Rain running away with it. Coming right back into this fight. They're not going to waste any time at all in trying to flip this point. Dallas Fuel now going to turn into a stagger as they try and just get every point of percentage they can. But it will get flipped. 41% is where it ends for Dallas Fuel. God, they're going to be there very fast. The Eternal won't have seen this. Attack Vizor as well, unfortunately. Yeah, this could be scary. They've got to do something about this one. And real quick, Bacon Jack with the tactical visor. The EMP nicely employed there. That's going to shut down a lot of the setup that the Hunters tried to erect. They take a step back. Finzi's mech is removed though. It looks like they want to commit to this. It's possible if we see a switch up there. Elsa actually goes for a very large wall across the point here. What do they get out of it? Going to be an application matrix as well. Cruz's immortality field has been taken down. Cloudy also falls to Elsa. Chondu just refused to play the game like anyone else and it is fun to watch. Cruz down. Shadow missing Elsa. He's charged up and ready to rumble. He's doing so much damage right now. And with the teleporter, he's going to just to reposition himself. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is just tearing Paris Eternal to shreds. Fully charged, doing absolute max damage. And the Paris Eternal are dumbfounded. <laughs>